guys, it's Breach18 and I am joined by Yoni from Play More Games. Hey. Hi Yoni, um, Hi. thanks for joining me. So we're going to be taking a look at Race to the North Pole, which yep. is your latest release, yeah? Yes. Excellent. So if you just want to describe to me what's going on here. I'm happy to. So Race to the North Pole is a wild competition of conquering the North Pole. Each player is trying to get their expedition team from their ship from the side of the board to the center, which is the North Pole. As soon as you get there with the whole team, you win the game instantly. But here's the challenge. You have to navigate around the cracks on the board. Right, okay. And every time a storm happens in the game, the board rotates, and that means the Arctic landscape changes. Those cracks form in new places. And not only that, your cards change as well. Right, okay. So every time after, when the storm settles, your options have changed, the landscape has changed. So you need to adjust your strategy to the changing conditions. Wow. All the information is open in the game, so you can read the game very well, so you can predict what's going to happen. And you also know what options other, player, other players will have on their turn. So you can play, play the mechanic in that way and prepare for the storm. But it's always going to be a little bit of a chaotic element when the storm happens. And then you need to figure out your strategy again. The fun part is that you get to do exactly that. Uh, some games you have to kind of decide your strategy in the beginning yeah. and kind of stick to it and either succeed or fail. You can't really do that with this game because it's going to be changing. E exactly. And because of a storm, you thought that you were behind, but suddenly you realize, oh, actually now I'm ahead. That actually might be a game for me to potentially win at because I don't know if you know, but it's well known that I'm really bad at games. I lose a lot of games. With the amount of games I play, I lose a lot. So this actually yeah. might be one that I'm able to win. Yeah, you should play this with me because this is a game I usually lose for a summer. <laughs> I, I always try some fancy tactic on reading the game, <laughs> counting the points on the cards. Yes, this will be my strategy. And then there's a ridic ridiculous thing I missed. Like, oh, cause, yeah, somebody had a husky, which is an equipment, one-time benefit that you can use in the game. Somebody has a husky, and with this you can play an extra card. So if somebody plays a uh, two-card combo and wins the game, somebody is like, oh, well, <laughs> there goes my beautiful strategy. <laughs> awesome. So the game looks fantastic. Component-wise, it looks really good. Artwork is spot on. How can people watching this video get this game? Right, uh, it's sold in Europe already. Okay. So like it, here you can find it from most uh, the retailers here. Okay, yeah. And it will be available in the States uh, this summer as well. Okay. So it's being printed right now, shipped soon, so it should be available at Chen Khan. Excellent, okay. And the other thing you have to show me is Diced. Yes, more than happy to. So Diced is a smart device application. Okay. It's your friend at the table who already knows the game inside out and will teach you how to play the game. That sounds really good. It does. And now it's a reality too. So unless you have that friend, uh, you can download it. <laughs> and this this is a demo we have for Rise of the North Pole now, okay. which you can download in a month. So it's a demo, there's still some kinks we, we need to fix out, right. but then you can download this for Race to the North Pole. You don't have to read the rule book. You can sit down, open up the game, start playing immediately, and learn the rules as you play. Our goal for DICE is that in the future, you will have every board game on it. So whenever wow. you buy a game, you just download the tutorial for it, start playing immediately, skip the rule book, and learn the game. The first game you play uh, will be the tutorial you're playing. So like what XCOM does, if you know that game. Yes, yeah, yeah. It stresses me out. It is like, <laughs> move it. It's like the time is going down. It's like, stop, stop, stop moving everything around. Oh, yeah. yes, it stresses me out, that game. So oh, it's, very, very good. But it's a little bit like that, the tutorial, but we just took it way further than that. Yeah. Uh, so I can show you a couple of the first steps in the in the demo. Yeah, that would be great. I mean, you've really taken quite a huge task on with doing this, and I really hope this works out because it'll be absolutely phenomenal, but it's very ambitious. Do you, do you not think? 
Uh, we are ambitious kind of guys. <laughs> That's Look, fair enough. Did you see the mechanic of the game? Yes. Do you know what a nightmare this is to manufacture? I can imagine, and it's what I refer to as a, a, a lazy Susan kind of mechanic. Yes. And, and I am trademarking that. So this new mechanic in board gaming is called the lazy Susan. The lazy That's Susan. mine. That's Breach 18 copyright right there. So yeah, if you could show me this, that'd be great. Yeah, awesome. So, welcome to the Arctic Adventurers. Get ready to battle your rivals and conquer the treacherous North Pole. Now, how many players do we have? So this is now skipping the setup phase because we are showing it here at the expo. Yeah. And by the way, it's gotten fantastic feedback. Players have fully learned the game without me saying a word. Oh wow! Which is good for me and yeah. both player, players, <laughs> as, your voice. players as well. Yes. Uh, so we have two players here. Take one pawn of each color into your palm. Now point key then. I'm just gonna shut him up a little bit here. So it's just telling us how to pick the starting player. Yep. We're dropping one pawn of each color. So let's say you're the orange yep. and the white. All right. So the closest player to the center starts. First player. That's convenient. What is your color? Yes. <laughs> so first player is the white one. Second player. Your color, please. And I want to remind you that I will be teaching you this game while you are playing. For this reason, I won't explain all the rules at once. Even if you know a rule, refrain from using that rule until I have explained it to everyone. Your goal is to be the first to get your whole team to the North Pole. Navigate your way around the cracks towards the center of the 8x8 grid and reach the North Pole. Every turn has four phases. First player, get ready. Let's start the game. And now we're already started playing. Right. So first player happens to be, Let's say you're the first player. Okay. So, so the, we'll switch. You're the, yeah, you're the white player. So... You can start playing your first turn. Phase one. Travel from ship to base camp. First player, move one pawn from your ship to any square in the base camp on your side of the board. Your side of the board is always the side where your ship is. The four base camp squares are marked with real footprints and tents. Exactly. And then phase two. Phase two, perform an action. The three cards on your side of the board are your action cards. An action card with a boot symbol on it allows you to move one or two spaces in the directions indicated on the card. Do you have a card with a boot symbol on it? Yep, you do. Yep. Beware. You cannot step over the cracks on the board, so you need to navigate around them. You can move diagonally past a crack, as long as you don't cross a continuous one. Remember, outside of base camps there can be only one pawn on each square. Now, choose a card with the boot symbol on it and perform that movement. Okay, so... Place the used card next to the board face up. This is... Uh, he likes to talk, doesn't he? Right, yes. so I would choose that one. Yep. And I will move here. Exactly. Diagonally. And yep. then do these cards... Stay? I'm guessing they stay, yeah, because they move around. Uh, they don't. What he was about to say, after you played, uh, you place that card next to the board to a storm deck. Right, okay. And this added two points to the storm deck. And every single card, they have different amounts of points. Right. When a certain point value is reached, that's when the storm, storm strikes. Happens. And Excellent. you see the color from here, it's a blue now. So you can see the arrows here. So those indicate if it's a blue how storm, it it, yeah, this, it's yeah. going to be a clockwise rotation. That's when the, that's how the storm happens when enough points have accumulated. The deck resets, and then the next card played will start a new one. Awesome! I mean, it all looks fantastic. Yeah. So, thank you, Yoni, for joining me, and thank you guys for watching. Thanks.